Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Whistle Pig 10 Year Straight Rye Whiskey. Whistle Pig was founded in 2007 when the company purchased an old dairy farm in Vermont. With the help from master distiller Dave Pickerell, the stock of 10-year-old Canadian blending whiskey was purchased and that's how the brand started. The Whistle Pig 10-year straight rye whiskey is a sourced Canadian 10-year rye that is aged in new American oak and finished in used oak bourbon barrels. This straight rye whiskey has a 10-year age statement and mash bill that consists of 100% unmalted rye, a 50% ABV, 100 proof with an MSRP of around $80. Let's check out the bottle for a second. Before I get into going through the bottling, they did just recently in the past few months change the labeling on the front of the bottle. Nothing else has changed. It is the exact same juice, just a different label. And there's a lot of this labeling, I should say, because it's the exact same bottle still out there on the shelves. With this labeling right here, it's got the whistle pig right here, has a 10 year age statement right there and right here also. On the neck, there's a 10 year age statement. On the back of the bottle, it's got WP embossed right here, which is pretty cool. It has a whistle pig right there on the front. The top of the cork is a nice wooden top, and it does have a synthetic cork. Pretty cool bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Let's check out the color. The color on this one is a nice golden color, maybe a light copper. Swirl it around the glass here a little bit. Just see how viscous and oily the whiskey is, how well it's clinging to the glass. And as you can see, it does seem to be fairly viscous, fairly viscous, oily whiskey. The legs are running slowly and the legs that are running are thick. So it does seem to be a fairly viscous and oily whiskey. With that being said, let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, I'm getting a nice mint floral note. vanillas and caramel, a nice oak note, not an overbearing, a nice little bit of a charred oak note on the nose. Definitely a minty, a minty floral sense to the nose of the whiskey. Definitely mint, a floral sense, a little bit of caramel, vanilla. Maybe even a little bit of like a hint of butterscotch in there also. Maybe a little hint. Some, some oak for sure, like a charred oak. But mostly mint, vanilla caramel, maybe a tinge of butterscotch. It does have a floral essence, which is not surprising. It is 100% rye. And a nice, charred oak note on the nose. It's almost like a spearmint gum. Once again, like a, a spearmint or mint note, like some rye spice, a floral scent to the whiskey. I'm also getting vanilla, caramel, maybe a little bit of a hint of butterscotch and a nice oak note. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Definitely a nice mouth coating whiskey. Finish is still going. Definitely has a nice long finish. On the first sip, nice mid note. Front of the palate, it's kind of getting drugged through mid palate into the finish, but I'm catching a little bit of a butterscotch note on the finish and a nice charred oak note. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Front of the palate, definitely catching mint, vanilla, caramel. Mint's getting drugged through mid palate, vanilla, caramel also. A nice hearty rye spice mid palate. And on the finish, 
it's like a butterscotch and a nice charred oak note on the finish and the finish is still going butterscotch is lingering a nice charred oak note very nice second sip and the mints kind of getting drugged through from the front of the palate all the way into the finish through mid palate into the finish on the second sip very nice second sip let's go in for a third cheers Once again, I want to say very mouth coating whiskey, long finish, front of the palate, mint, a nice hearty rye spice with vanilla caramel getting drugged through. Very consistent whiskey. Finish it off in a nice butterscotch, mint, charred oak note. Very, very well balanced. Everything's complementing each other well. It's a very nice third sip. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Whistle Pig 10 Year Straight Rye Whiskey. Guys, without a doubt, a good solid pour of rye whiskey. It does have an $80 MSRP. Is that a good value for this? It does have a 10 year age statement, but for me personally, there's two in particular I know I would probably pick over this, that being the Pikesville Rye and the Michter's Single Barrel Rye. Yes, it is a good whiskey. Do I think it's a great value? Absolutely not. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.